your photograph and just move it. Ah. Uh, right yeah, I unfortunately you don't get the detail in the moon. Yeah. You either have the clouds or you have the detail in the moon. You can't have both. <laughs> I did a photo. I, I make calendars just for my family and my right. friends. And I wanted to do a photo kind of like that. Mm. Moonrise over Cote saint Right. Kind yeah. of like Adam, Ansel Adams did Moonrise right. over yeah, no, yeah, so, yeah. something in New Mexico. Yeah. And uh, it's very hard to get everything in the dynamic range. The moon exactly. is so bright. Yeah. And the clouds, and, and to try to get the, uh, the houses in yeah, yeah. some definition. You know. Yeah, you can do it with HDR, you know, like multiple exposures and blend them. Yeah. On video, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. But once it gets behind the clouds, if it goes behind a relatively thick cloud, then you might get some detail. Anyhow, yeah. yeah, the clouds are interesting. <laughs> Let's take a tilt at night when you get a bunch of <laughs> Do you have a long lens on this? It's a 400, it's not that long. Uh, as you can see, the moon's not huge. And, uh, you know, to get it really big, you'd maybe need a thousand millimeter. Even then, it wouldn't go well. The other thing you can do is put a camera with a smaller sensor on the back. Yeah. Like yeah. if you have an APS-C size sensor, it'll be... That'd be one six times. Yeah. 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 Well, I have a Nikon 1. Yeah? It's, it's a That's small a little, one. It's a one-inch one. yeah. sensor. So it multiplies the power by about 2.7 times. Okay. So yeah. that would make the 400 into about 1,000. Yeah. But it doesn't have the same image quality. It's full for that's a Nikon, this kind? Yeah, it's a Nikon. Yes, yes. Need that old uh, Zeiss 1000mm mirror lens. You know? They made I, a, I think it's a 1005 Russian. I have a Russian 1000mm, I think it's F11 yeah. though. Yeah, I, think, I know the one you're talking about, the 5.6 lens. Yeah, if you created it, you could go on the old yeah. Contorex uh, electronics yeah. or, or the Hasselblad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 5.6. It was really good. <laughs> yeah, but was it a thousand millimeters or was it a 500? So. Um, anyway. Made, they made a 500 and yeah, yeah. But I think, I think you're right. I think they did have a thousand millimeter. Yeah, it was a big, big mirror. And so. so, but I have a Russian one, but I, I haven't uh, used it much. Yeah. Um, no, because it's a screw mount. And, uh, yeah. 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 I once had, I was given a 400 mm. not a mm. Russian lens, mm. uh, but I had a practica mm. at the time, so it fitted it. Right. But um, the practica got stolen out of the platform. That's too bad. Right. Of it, so I lost that. So. Yeah. See now, when it moves into that thicker cloud, yeah. you might start seeing some detail on the moon. What part of the moon are you looking at today? Well, I'm looking at the overall scene, uh, so you can have a look if you want. Okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's wonderful. It's fun. You know, it's supposed to be the full moon tomorrow, but still. Yeah, the night before is almost full oh, and wow. uh, early I was getting the trying to get a moonrise because it's in a the, the balance between the moon and the sky is better the night before than the actual night in terms of brightness levels. Okay. Thanks for a really great great picture. Yeah. Well it's actually video so your voice is gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> it's just your voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I don't mind it. I, because you know, it, it, people can turn the sound off if they don't want to hear it. Because there's no real sound involved. Or you can overlay music, you know, whatever. Like the, the soundtrack is can edit it. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah, not too bad. Just. Uh, 
thinking of. I think I'll keep it where it is, but I might reframe the, a little bit later. But you see how the moon is much brighter in the video than it is uh, mm -hmm. in real life. Okay. Because the, the range of light from the darkest to the lightest, um, our eyes handle it better than the digital sensor. <laughs> okay. <coughs> yeah. The digital sensor can't handle the same range of light as our, our eyes. They're getting close. <laughs> you know, maybe in a few more years it'll be. It varies, and it depends on the ISO. Like the higher you go with your ISO, the lower the you get less dynamic range with the digital camera. So at, at the lowest ISO, it might have well, like 15, <laughs> 15 stops. Which one is yours? Facebook. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Facebook. But that's it. Is this might have 14, but at ISO 64. Once you get up to 4,000, it's another yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess if they had a dynamic range of 18 to 20, that would be about yeah. the same as the other. I remember the days of Kodachrome when it was six, <laughs> six stops. True enough, yeah. Um, um, this is already infinitely better. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's the bus. Okay. <laughs> I'll be getting on it in a second, yeah. Are you going on the 104? Okay, right. So I'll just keep running here while the bus is at the right. Hold the best for you. Yeah. Well, I'll be getting on in a second. I'm just uh, letting the video run. <clears throat> Anyhow, 